I believe if my lips match up, this is the first time I've used natural lights. I'm able to, uh, it's bright enough through my window that I don't have to turn the lights on in here, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness uh i wanted to do a really really quick video uh, my my daughter uh, my teenage daughter and my ex are supposed to arrive today um, he's gonna go fishing because i live in the berkshires area in massachusetts and um i think we're gonna go for a hike afterwards too which is so awesome and if they wind up staying here until it gets dark i have like a little tiny uh, fire pit um, and uh, yeah the stars are awesome at my house at night because I have a nice one acre clearing so what did I want to talk about yes um, people not thinking about the words that they're using okay let me give you an example people love saying that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I, I really like that statement because uh, consistency, truth, love. Uh, but also that statement should put a healthy fear in your heart. Now, I'm not a fear-mongering person. I don't put things in people's minds uh, to dwell on at all. Like, don't dwell on anything I say. Uh, I, I just like to plant seeds to give a perspective that will help you in your walk. Because that's why I do these videos, to try to help people. So, when it says that the Lord Jesus Christ is the same yesterday as he is today. Have you read the Bible? <laughs> like, I think that's what I would say to somebody who would have joy in their heart. I'm not saying that the Lord Jesus Christ doesn't give me joy in my heart, but, uh, as long as you're in right standings with him, you would have joy in your heart. If not, you may be one of those who are gnashing your teeth later because, okay, he's the same as yesterday. So as in the days of Noah, Matthew mentions that um, the coming of the Son of Man is going to be like the days of Noah. Well, <clears throat> How many people did the Lord Jesus Christ save? <laughs> How many? Anyone? Eight people. Eight. And Noah was a very righteous man who was obedient always to the Lord God. So... If you really think about it, he's the same as he was yesterday. Well, why are there, why are, why are those uh, not taking their walk with Christ seriously and being obedient to his word? Why is it so easy for them to disregard most of the scriptures and just nitpick and pick out the ones that um, they fancy. Not only do they do that, but uh, they misinterpret. Misinterpret. <laughs> I actually said misinterpret. <laughs> the first time I said it, I think I left out an R. <laughs> mispronunciation <laughs> if he's the same as he was yesterday he was very serious yesterday so why would he not be very serious today 
and want you to be obedient? That's, that's just a question that I would like you to keep in mind. Again, I plant seeds. I'm not a fear-mongering person. I just pray that others really think about certain things because I think that you would take more seriousness in your walk if you had a healthy fear of what the Lord Jesus Christ had done in the past. So again, just think about it. He's the same as he hasn't changed. He hasn't changed. Yes, he's loving, merciful, merciful, <laughs> merciful, <laughs> merciful. As long as you're obedient to his word, as long as you humble yourself and come to him with a pure heart and do his will. So again, something to think about six minutes, that's good enough, but really think about that question. If he's the same as he was yesterday, look at the Old Testament, okay? And really take your walk seriously and have a healthy fear. I'm not saying to be all crazy. I'm just saying have a healthy fear and take it seriously because it is serious your eternal soul it's very serious it's not something you want to second guess it's not something you want to lean on your own understanding it's not something you want to be wrong about your eternal soul so love jesus christ with all your heart do his will first and, and make sure that you become born again. You know when you're born again because you're, you walk differently, you talk differently. You're a new creation. You are a different person. You know it through and through. If your walk hasn't changed and you're still doing your own thing and you're indecisive and you're just kind of like not taking anything seriously, you're not born again. You're not. And time is so short you have today, take it seriously today. So I love you and God bless.